The Day the Crowns Came Home by Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. One day, Duncan and his crowns were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Hello from the rug. Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crown. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch when your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crown, Maroon Crown. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crown formerly known as pea green. Duncan, Duncan's bedroom upstairs, this house. Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crown. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I am still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come back to get me, I guess I'm walking home. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crown. Duncan, Duncan's room inside, that house there. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You are not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Duncan, his bedroom, upstairs. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me. After the horrors I've been through, I think I was tan crown or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan. And it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I am more carpet fuzz than crown now. Can you please bring me back your undigestible friend? Tan, or possibly burn sienna, crown. Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Hey, Duncan. Remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall? Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crown. Duncan. Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crown. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan, Duncan's room upstairs. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? 
kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard, Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make a, I, it would make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crown sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crown. I had to write it for him. This is not fun for me either, you know. To Duncan, Duncan's bedroom, upstairs, this house. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Duncan, Duncan's room, upstairs. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crown. P.S. Sock says hi. Tell him I said hi. Duncan, Duncan's room, upstairs, this house. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crown. I know I belong to your baby brother but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten off, bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is that he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, Big Chunky Toddler Crown. Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon Red Crown. Duncan, Duncan's room, Duncan's house, next door. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crown. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used to col me to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great. But did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend brown crown bear goes in the woods by duncan duncan was sad to learn of all the crowns he'd lost forgotten broken or neglected over the years so he ran around gathering them up but duncan's crowns were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crown box so duncan had an idea he built a place where each crown would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, more lilac. Make sure it's straight. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. Looks good, lads. I hope there's not a metal detector. No, I think everyone's welcome. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. I think that door is for us. And then, in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. The end.